Brief two-game series, brief World Series rematch between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the Texas Rangers. Game one of that series is tonight. A very important stretch of baseball for the Diamondbacks where it is nip and tuck and it is tight and it is close. Four teams separated by two games in the loss column. Three of them are going to get in. One of them aren't. Pitching matchup for today, and it's a good one. It's a rematch of Game 1 of the World Series, of Game 5 of the World Series. Zach Gallen coming off his really good start against San Francisco last week. The righty is 11-6 with a 3-6-9. Nathan Eovaldi, the righty for Texas, gets the start. He's 11-7 with a 3-5-5 ERA. He's recorded four quality starts in a row, including a seven-inning two-run performance against the Yankees his last time out. Simeon, like he he did on that November 1st game. We'll dig in from the right side to lead it off for Texas. 3-2. Well, he chased that slider, and Zach has strikeout number one. Josh Smith at shortstop for the Rangers. Hit the ball well lately. Four straight, nine of ten. Little check swing tapper. Mosey's on it. Nice high hop, and a nice play by Herrera. Two outs in the first. Wyatt Langford, the rookie left fielder, bents third. Langford 246 in 10 homers. And that is lined up the middle base hit. Langford will be the Rangers' first base runner tonight. Boy, relative to Game 5 of the World Series, that is a, a, a much earlier hit against Gallon than the Rangers got last time. So it's going to be close to a 25-pitch inning for Gallon here in this top of the first inning. Uh, not off to a great start just in terms of pitch count. And now it's just about putting a zero on the board as the left-handed hitting Nathaniel Lowe comes to the plate. 0-2 pitch. Fastball, strike three called, and the inning is over. Gallon strikes out two. He also strands two as we go into the bottom of the first inning. It's the Rangers nothing, and the D-backs coming up against Nathan Evaldi. And here's Carroll leading 229, 19 homers, 66 RBIs, but hot in the second half. And he takes strike three called. So Evaldi gets his first strike out of the night. That was perfectly framed and was a strike. Okay, so now can tell Marte. Marte switch hitter at the left side, and he takes strike three called. Wow. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Evaldi. I know the fans are booing here, but you watch this ball here, and it catches the bottom of the zone. You see Jonah Heim here. Watch him work below the ball and pull it up here. And now that is going to bring up Jock Peterson. Two outs, nobody on, no score. We're in the bottom of the first. Peterson sends one away. But it's one nothing Diamondback. 450 feet. We're talking about a no doubter right there for Jock Peterson. Vivaldi has now given up 20 home runs this season. And now here's Walker. And the count is 0 and 1. Walker sends one out to right. Garcia to the track, to the wall. And they go back to back. Christian Walker's first home run since July 24th. It's 2 nothing Diamondbacks. And he goes up ball against Vivaldi. For Christian Walker to drive the ball to the opposite field, coming back off the injured list, still working on his timing. That shows him that he can hit the ball out of any part of the ballpark. We go to the bottom of the third, and the D-backs have a 2-0 lead against Sivaldi and the Rangers. Here's Jock Peterson, homered his first time up. One out, nobody on. Full count. And here is the payoff. Peterson takes inside ball four. And that's the first walk issued by Uvaldi. Walker homered his first time up as well. He went back to back, as we mentioned, with Peterson. Love to get Christian on a roll right now. And he's going the other way again. Garcia backing up to the wall. And he's got another one out to right field. Welcome back, Christian Walker. And it's 4 nothing. Make that two opposite field home runs this season. Oh, is that a sight for sore eyes or what? And the Diamondbacks have doubled up the Rangers. It's 4 nothing Already tonight, numbers 24 and number 25 for Walker. So there are two outs for Pavin Smith. All right, Evaldi again with a 3-2. And a swing and a miss. He strikes out Smith for a second time. Got him there with the splitter. We go to the fourth. It's 4 nothing Arizona. So far, so Zach Gallen. One walk, four strikeouts, three scoreless innings. Langford has both Ranger hits. He's two for two. Both singles out to center. Nadolis Garcia, uncharacteristically perhaps, walked his first time up. See if they have Langford running on this 3-2 pitch. He holds it first. At the knees, and there is the slider. Strikeout number five for Gallon. Nathaniel O was caught looking to win the first. Three and two once again. He puts him away with a curveball. Six strikeouts for Zach. Oh, does Zach Allen look really good right now? This thing just fell off the table. It disappeared. Great curveball. Here is Young now, the third baseman. Swung on, grounded to short. Perdomo has it. 
And goes to second for the force out. The inning is over. Gallon strikes out two more. And we go to the bottom of the fourth inning. Suarez a single his first time up. Ground ball through the right side. And he swings and hits one high in the air to left. Langford racing back to the wall. He leaps and he makes a spectacular catch. Wyatt Langford on the dead run leaps and grabs it. One stride from the wall in straightaway left and gets some applause from Nathan Avaldi. There is one terrific out. This has not been one of Nathaniel's better starts. His fastball velocity now down to 93.7. So here we go. Back to back two out hits. A single and a double. Second and third. And what do you do with Cattell Marte? He got first base open, but then again, Jock Peterson's on deck behind him, and he's already homered off of Baldy tonight. The 2 2 pitch on the way. Swung on and a bouncing ball hit second. Charged by Simeon. Little flip to low ends the inning. No runs, two hits, and two men left. Four nothing, Arizona. Gallon, 94 pitches, 54 strikes. He was outstanding. Five scoreless, gave up two hits, walked two. This was the big difference maker tonight. 16 sliders. That's a season high on that pitch for Zach Gallon. Gallon in line for what would be his second consecutive win. They have to make this four nothing lead hold up. We go to the eighth, four nothing Diamondbacks. On the pitch for the Diamondbacks now is left-hander AJ Puck. Puck, since joining the Diamondbacks at the trade deadline, has been virtually untouchable. Now the 0-2, swung on and missed. I mean, he just completely overpowered Marcus Simeon. Pretty darn good second baseman. Here's a 3-2. Strike three called. Got him looking with a slider. And that's back-to-back -back strikeouts now for Puck. Two outs, nobody aboard for Langford. Langford two for three with a couple of singles. Another 2-2. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And A.J. Puck struck out the side in order in the top of the eighth inning. Dominant stuff from the left-hander. As we go to the bottom of the eighth, it's the D-backs four. And the Rangers nothing. Here's Paven Smith. Paven down the line, and it's on the line for a base hit. Paven Smith has the RBI double. Poked it right down that right field line, and it got deep into the corner. McCarthy comes all the way in. Two down for Herrera. Well, any which way here, just any kind of base hit. Love to have an extra run. Or drive it deep to right. Jose Herrera bounces one over the wall. It's another two out RBI hit for Herrera, and it's six to nothing. He's just kind of got a knack for that. That's the second ball that Jose smoked here tonight. He's got a single and an RBI double. D-backs get two runs on three hits. We go to the ninth. And yeah, the Rangers need six to tie and seven to take the lead. Now the Rangers are down to their final out in the ninth inning. D-backs six. And yeah, the Rangers nothing. Two outs. And the one-two to Young. Swung on and missed. He struck him out. And the ball game is over. The Diamondbacks shut out the Rangers by a final score of six to nothing. This was about as surgical as a win as you could put together for the Diamondbacks. Get the lead early, suffocate it with starting pitching, and then lock it down with the bullpen.